before I got unwell, I was in high school and I was very active at school. I was the school captain. I played sport. I did well in my studies and was working a part-time job. And, yeah, I'd say that I got sick slowly over time, so it's hard to kind of say how I was before I got sick because I think it came on quite gradually. When I was around 15 or 16, I started getting some fatigue. Uh, wasn't probably considered unnormal for a teenager to want to sleep in or take a nap during the day, but I just noticed I was needing to take more and more naps in the afternoon. So my mum ended up taking me to a naturopath around that time. We weren't alarmed that anything was wrong. It was just like, oh, how can we increase my energy? And at the time, um, yeah, she just gave some tips, but it wasn't thought into at any further degree as I was functioning quite well. Um, and then I'd say after high school, I went through a period of quite a lot of um, emotional and mental stress. And as the years went on, that fatigue just kind of kept gradually increasing. And I would specifically notice it around my cycle and, you know, when I'd have my period, uh, I would just have debilitating fatigue, but I was still going about all the usual things. Um, and then there was definitely a crisis point where just before I got married, um, this is, yeah, a couple of years later, again, I reacted really badly to um, some medication, some hormonal medication, and I only was on it for a couple of weeks and my health just plummeted, like went from functioning to just being like, I didn't even know if I could walk down the aisle at my wedding. I was just, the fatigue just was so intense and um, that was really the turning point. And even though I came off that medication, you know, I was only on it for a couple of weeks. It was just for me, it was the straw that kind of broke the camel's back and I didn't return to health after that. I think I was just thinking like, I'll get better. Like I'll, you know, this will pass. And it didn't. <laughs> so then I started the long process of seeing more functional kind of doctors um, and doing every test under the sun, spending thousands of dollars. And eventually when nothing was coming back in those tests, I was told I had chronic fatigue syndrome. I went from being pretty functional but with like a lot of fatigue to I could hardly walk. Um, I would kind of be able to muster up the energy to do small bursts of things in the day but pretty much over time I, I gradually kept declining and um, I would sleep for 12 to 14 hours, get up, lie in bed, have a shower, be absolutely exhausted, go back to bed, um, make myself a meal. Like I basically was just surviving. I had to stop working, studying, no energy, um, brain fog. I, I struggled to get my words out to put sentences together. Basically over a period of five to six years while I was um, trying to regain my health, I never lost hope that I could get better. Someone who I followed online that had a recovery story from chronic fatigue shared her experience with neural plasticity, neural retraining work, and that's how I ended up looking up, you know, what options were out there and came across the Gupta program. I feel like the shift was immediate, but I'd say within a few weeks I started seeing results, and after around three months, I like I felt like I'd gone from, you know, that 60 to 70 percent capacity to like 90 percent. I remember going for for walks and um and really feeling the, you know, in the retraining how you imagine like the strength and the or whatever it is, you imagine the the feelings of health in your body and then being out and going for a walk and just being like, wow, like I'm actually, I actually am strong. Like I actually do feel healthy. And um, yeah, it's, um, yeah, that was very special. I'd say definitely the biggest thing was that um, I got strong enough to be able to feel that we could start a family. So um, 
that was definitely the biggest milestone just to be I'm I'm not only well enough to take care of myself now where I used to not even be able to take care of my own needs but I I feel well enough to be able to um yeah to to take care of the needs of a little person so definitely um regaining the strength to be able to become a mum was definitely the greatest milestone.